Hey everyone, continue to subscribe to my channel and try my best to do some quick videos for you that you will find useful, hopefully. And uh, we're trying to take it seriously this 2024 a little bit just to get people to subscribe, right? And uh, as the title suggests, we will try to look at the Delta Hub Carpio and uh, some of the copies that have cropped up lately and how they differ in terms of this and how to identify if they're actually fake because there are fakes that are one-to-one, -one, but basically they can't copy the pattern, uh, especially the quality of the cutout here, um, as you see of the Delta hub or the Delta logo in the middle, and then this pattern here. So one of the, I think, um, copy that is uh, really good in terms of uh, the usage arrived today for me, because this one disappeared for a while, I couldn't find it. When I was uh, on a different island, I was trying to look for it and I couldn't find it. When I got home, I still couldn't find it. So I ordered this one to replace this one to also match the color of my mouse currently, uh, which is an a MX Master 3S. And uh, yeah, it's a gray color. And um, this one is a little more expensive. It's around um, $50 to $60 depending on the kind of version that you have for this one and uh, this one just costs around probably around um, $10 10 to $20 so depending on where you your supplier is from so for me I, I got it for about yeah uh, $13 including shipping so that's pretty good price as compared to this one but let's see uh, how to spot number one they did not copy this one-to-one, -one, but let's see how good they copied it, right? So I'm just going to slide it out. And one good thing is that um, one of the major difference that you will see is that they can copy the logo, as I said, and then they can really copy the direct pattern of this one, which is the which is uh, the way you control the smoothness of, uh, on the bottom of your palm. So it moves with you, but it stays put if you um, when you use the mouse um, like this, like so. When you're doing it like this, the palm rest doesn't move as much, but when you glide your mouse, it moves, right? So some of the copies don't do that. When you turn your mouse, it turns with you. So it doesn't hold on to the mat as much, like the Carpio, the original Carpio uh, that I have here right now. So when I hold the mouse and I move it like this in a micro adjustment, it stays put. So this design here is engineered, and um, the way this was done was really to help with the carpal tunnel, all of the stuff with your wrist. So this is pretty good. I've been using it for years and never had uh, my carpal tunnel issue arise again ever. So yeah, I'm pretty psyched for this one. And I only bought about two of this and the other one I gave it away. It was a version one. So I didn't have the chance to review that. So let's see this one that I ordered. Um, we'll see how it stacks up with the original, right? So yeah, it's stickerized here. Usually I would use my cutter for this, but yeah, we'll see if we can open it up without the cutter. I think we just need to just uh, push it a little bit out, right? The presentation is quite good. There's a mouse palm rest thing here, actually made in China. Uh, the container, right, slides out. It's like a gift box from the 80s, right? And then, okay, let me drop it up. And there's nothing here so this one is uh, rubberized with a cardboard top so it's good in transit right so I'm just gonna return this inside and also includes a freebie outside of the package which is kind of a glider right so first things off let's do a side by side let me put this aside so at first look generally the shape is the same right the shape is the same the height is almost the same and one thing immediately out of the box that I see is this is lifting up right so I need to push this back in all right right put that back in so this was when it arrived it's really tight nothing moving there but in terms of the squishiness right the main difference is that this is a little more firm this one just copies it a little bit it's but it's more softer so depending on your preference on this side it's smoke sm uh, a little more squishy on this side it's not so much on the other hand for the Delta hub 
uh, for the Delta Hub uh, Carpio, squishy here and also squishy here. But this one, super squishy here, hard here. Okay, and one of the things you'll notice immediately is that the logo, right? But generally, it's a one-to-one -one shape, thickness. Okay, so let me put it side by side. As you can see, this one's a little thicker, right? But generally about a millimeter off, right? But the shape is really copied from the Delta, right? Again, there's a, yeah, it quickly loosens up. So that's one, I think. And then yeah, okay, right, so. On the back end, the Delta Hub has this pattern, right? And then the logo here on the side, as you can see here. This one doesn't. Although I tried to copy the pattern of the rubber here, it's not the same, right? And it's, again, it's really, really loose, right? And then the rubber, the kind of slider that we have here, they tried to copy it as much as they can as well right but the main difference is that they cross it in between here probably avoid copyright issues this one doesn't have those crossings here like this one but generally it's it's a one-to-one -one, almost one-to-one -one copy in terms of the shape and it's functional let's see how it works right so I'm gonna put this down knowing that I've been using this for years so just notice the edges of the the, the palm rest as you can see here, see it's moving. I'm, I'm not really forcing it to move, but there's a, it's it's moving with the mouse pad when I'm I'm gonna turn my palm. Yeah, just a tiny bit, but it moves, right? But generally for support, for general support, it works. All right, for general movement, it's it's working as intended. How I feel, similar, similar to this one. But I feel like it adds a little bit more support on this end than this one here. Because this one is stiff, this one is softer. But you see the difference here. When I put my hands and then move my mouse, you see, there's minimal movement. Right? So I, I don't know if you see the minimal movement. But if you can see, um, I'm, I'm trying a glide test. This one's a, a, a semi-rough surface. So I'm going to do a glide test. Okay, the same force this one so it's almost similar right all right so let me see if it ends up on the same place with the same force okay yeah it's a little rough for this one let me do that again yeah this one is a little smoother without pressure right right and this one yeah now it moves much with with hard pressure moves really really good with soft press pressure it doesn't this one is a little more balanced so when i push it hard it really holds on to the surface so it's a little more control when i push it lightly it still maintains the kind of control it has so that's the main difference you won't really uh, see it on the video in terms of how you feel but generally i haven't used this for a long time this is new but let me tell you in a couple of months, probably or a year, what happens to this one, right? So that's how you spot, um, especially on photos, you don't, you won't really see a difference, but yeah, for the price it has, it's a good buy, right? This one's a good buy. So don't really push for the Delta Hub unless you really need to, like I do. But if you need something except of nothing, I'd rather get this one, right? So that's it for this uh, video review. I'm contemplating to have a video review with my face on next time. But yeah, somebody's telling me to get my face on the video. So watch out for that in the coming months. Thanks for watching. Continue to subscribe.